And today, I have Alison Shapiro and Neil with me. If you recall, Neil was the person who introduced this wonderful acupuncture doctor to me who has enabled my recovery. That said, I'm going to turn this to Alison and Neil. Okay, Daniel. Hi, Neil. Hi. It's Daniel. Yep. It's wonderful to meet you, Neil. Nice to meet you guys, too. Daniel has told me many things about you. And I would really like it if you tell me a little bit about your personal experience with stroke. What happened to you? That happened on January the 2nd, uh, 2012. Um, that day, I couldn't open my eyes because uh, everything's like a spinning around me. So if I have my eyes open, I would feel like a, I like to throw up. And in addition, I think I lost my... Uh, a capability to swallow. I couldn't even swallow my saliva. And uh, my body couldn't move. So I had to lie in the bed. And also my wife told me later on that also that day when I speak, uh, everything was very blurry. Even though I didn't feel it, I thought I was speaking well, but all the other people told me it was kind of weird, very blurry. Oh, also double vision. Also double vision. Yep. So by the time they released me, but double vision, was still there. So I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't stare at the computer screen. And uh, my energy level was very low. So one day, my friend, a long time friend came to see me because upon learning that I had a stroke. And he said, his coworkers, he has like a two, three coworkers who has stroke. And they went to see Dr. Sun, a Chinese uh, herbal doctor. And they seem to recover pretty well from their strokes. And he said, I'm not a believer. I don't believe in Chinese herbal medicine or Chinese acupuncture at all but why don't you give it a try since nothing seems to be working so I said okay give me the phone number and then my wife called Dr. Sun and told her about my case and she said yeah I would like to give it a try, but you have to come to my office every day, six days a week. And my wife immediately said, no, that's impossible because your clinic is so far away from us. And she was busy because the tax season, she's also a CPA. And January, February, I mean, all the way through April 15th, that's the busy season for tap of filing taxes. So she said, I couldn't, you know, drive you there every day. And then Dr. Sun said, if you couldn't come here every day, please don't come. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. Why don't you find another Chinese acupuncture doctor near your home so that you can go there on a daily basis? Because if you don't go there on a daily basis, it's not going to work. And especially 
for stroke patients, she said the first three months, that's the key. The earlier you can get acupuncture therapy, the more effective it might be. Once, you know, when the, if time lapses and you don't, you don't get enough therapies, it's not going to work that effectively. My wife said, okay, we'll try. So the next day, we made the appointment. So we went there the next day. That was a Wednesday, the first time, January 25th. I still remember that day. We had an appointment at 10 o'clock. So we went there before 10. Where then, did you uh, go? You went there. Where is there? Uh, in Rosemead. In Rosemead, and to see whom? To see Dr. Sun. And that day, somehow my energy level really increased. That was very amazing to me that after only one session, it boosted my energy level to something I, I never thought would happen. Because mm -hmm. two days before the session, me and my wife, we went to the Northridge Mall to walk because I, I want to be able to practice more on my um on how to walk so we went to the mall after she parked the car in the handicap parking spot that was the closest to the mall entrance mm -hmm. i walked from the car to the entrance that wasn't very far but at that point I was already so exhausted. So there's a bench outside the mall. There are benches inside the mall also, but I couldn't make it to. So we sat outside the mall on the bench for about five minutes. And finally, I got better. And we went into the mall. And we walked from this side of the mall to the other side. And I had to sit down again. So basically, we just walked just to the other side of the mall and back. And I had to sit again and then walk from the entrance to the car. So for this short distance, I took three breaks. And by the time I got on the car, I was totally exhausted. No energy at all. But after that first acupuncture session, that night, we went to the mall again, the same handicap spot, and walked to the entrance. By the entrance, my wife told me, hey, why don't you sit down, take a break? I said, I don't feel like I need it. Let's keep walking. So we walked into the mall, and from this side, went to the other, side and my wife said again hey i think you need to take a break i said no. and another amazing thing was the next morning i got up after my first session acupuncture section mm -hmm. the, the next morning i got up and i was because i usually um use my use toilet in the morning right so i was sitting there and uh grab because we have a little basket with all the magazines you know stuff and i grabbed a magazine a time magazine and i was reading it took a really small phone and i was reading the story and didn't realize that that's something abnormal for me you know with double vision Right. And then my wife walked past me and looking and she, she, she saw I was reading this Time magazine and she said, you can read now? Hmm. At that point, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm reading fine. But that 
only lasted five minutes. And, and then, then double vision came back. Came yeah. But to me, that was such a good sign. That means this acupuncture, it might be working. We did it for like three weeks. And my energy level was getting better and better. And my sense of balance is getting better. And my double vision start to fade away because the first day it lasts for like you know without double vision it lasts for like five minutes mm -hmm. and then it every day it seems to increase you know from five minutes to 10 minutes to 15 minutes mm -hmm. and gradually it, la it would last the whole morning and then the whole afternoon so after like, a I think after three weeks of acupuncture with Dr. Sun, basically double vision went away. So that was before the end of February, I already felt back to normal. I can walk, I can read, and uh, pretty much like a normal person. So at the beginning of March, I went to uh, DME to reclaim my driver's license. And after a half hour interview with the officer, she said, yeah, you look fine. I'll give you your driver's license. Hmm. In April, starting April 1st, I went back to work. Uh, three days, three days a week. Mm -hmm. So I did that part-time thing for a month for April. And then in May, starting May 1st, I was working full-time. That's a wonderful thing, Neil. I'm so happy for you. That's pretty amazing. So I have one more question for you. And my question is, you went to see Daniel when he was in the hospital. What did you want to accomplish when you went to see him? First of all, because I've been through this, I know how hard mentally this can be for a patient. Because, it, it, you know, it was like you're throwing into this dark pit. And you don't know whether you would ever be able to climb out of that pit. Even though the doctors say, you know, we'll try everything we, we have. We'll try everything possible, you know. But you don't know for sure. Right. And this is not like a, a cold, you know. You, you sneeze, you cough, and after a couple of days, you're okay. Stroke, man, that's... That's total darkness. And even for me, I was in hospital only for two weeks, but it seemed like forever. Right. So for Daniel, because when I, by the time I heard about him, he was already in hospital for like a, a month or so. So when my friend told us about this, and I think, you know, we need to meet Daniel. And I want to bring some hope to him. That's the purpose. And plus, I want to recommend to him Dr. Sun. Because that's already been, already been proven. It can be very effective. Daniel was, wasn't you know, in a good condition back then. Because I think his case is much severe than mine. And at that point, he was still wasn't able, he wasn't able to swallow after, after a month already. Mm -hmm. So we told him about, you know, my recovery process. And then we recommended Dr. Sun 
to him. Who knows? Because I never believed in acupuncture either. It's like I never believed in it. <laughs> Just like my friend said, yeah, I don't believe it either. <laughs> but give it a try. And now I'm a firm believer in that. 